hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a new or returning subscriber then karibu karibu sana my swahili is getting better if you'd like to know how i prepared this weight gaining pap you see on your screen then keep watching so to get started here are the ingredients I'm going to keep squeezing and putting some water till I'm sure that there's no milk left in the shaft, that the shaft is just plain without milk. And finally, when I'm almost done, I'm going to use that small space and then squeeze. Squeeze till every single milk is squeezed out. Okay. 
now that this is done i'm going to let it settle for about four to five hours while i go ahead and do the rest so i have two buckets of this and as you can see it's beginning to settle at the bottom so here i'm going to take out the water at the top and leave what's left at the bottom the sediment at the bottom so this water i'm removing at the top was the excess water we used in washing the pap you can see that the pap is beginning to form at the bottom so be careful not to scoop out the pap So this is after an extra two hours the pap has fully settled at the bottom and i have discarded the water that was on the top now i'm adding it to a cheesecloth this is actually not a cheesecloth this is one of the shopping bags we have here i washed it and i'm using it to filter out the pap so i have two of this so what i'm going to do is to tie this cloth very tightly very tightly and leave it in a bucket overnight as you can see i'm placing a bucket of water on top of it to serve as a gauge i want i want that to press out the water from the cloth so this is the next morning and let's see our results so you can see all the water that has been squeezed out from the pap i'm just going to discard that and now it's reveal time let's see what the result is so is this a hit or a miss what do you guys think tell me in the comment section below does this pop look gorgeous it looks gorgeous to me but what do you think it looks really nice right i'm not i'm not someone who likes to take pop a lot but just seeing this makes me want to take pop actually so you know the good thing about this it is super healthy it is made of grains you can read about the health benefits of millet sorghum yellow corn dates it's all natural nothing processed no processed sugar nothing everything here is all natural and it is super healthy for the baby so if you're looking for those chubby 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 babies trust me those and while making this you can add some soya bean seeds to it but i didn't add soya bean seeds to mine because i already have soya bean powder i had earlier made if you haven't seen that video on how to make soya bean powder kindly click on the link above to watch that video so when i'm preparing the pap meal i'll just add a bit of soya bean powder to it and I have about two of this and i'm sure it's going to last me for about three to four months so i'm not planning to do this for well although i'll be turning it into powdered form because it lasts longer as powder and if you'd like to see how i'm going to do that then kindly click the video on the end screen to watch that or you check my page there's a video like that on how to turn your pap into powder so it lasts a lot longer even last six months one year and that's why i made a large quantity so now it's time to make the actual pap meal i took a little quantity of pap and added a little quantity of water to dissolve and now i'm adding to a cup of water in a pot and i'm stirring i'll keep stirring till it thickens and um i get the consistency that i want so because i'm making this pap for my baby i'm not making it particularly very thick so i'm making it a bit light um because um i think that's better for her so at this point the pap is ready 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 to be served because i did this with some dates it doesn't really need any sugar because it's really sweet already so i'm going to be adding so i'm going to be adding just a little bit of honey just because my baby has sweet tooth like i i do and then i'm going to be adding some milk all this is optional the pap is already sweet don't forget we added some dates to the whole process 
and so a little bit of milk and our pap is ready ready so guys this this is so nutritious for your baby trust me this is so nutritious and guys i have a lot more videos like these coming up please kindly subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video